Okay, so this is going to be a bit trial and error. Just thought I'd try making um, a DIY video for an American girl dress. So this, uh, hold it right around. Uh, this is a skirt that I had. That was mine. And uh, hold it still for a second. Um, this the floral fabric, it was all the way around, but I've cut a piece out that I've used for a different project. It was on like a patchwork cushion that I made. But um, I've seen on here that people make um, strapless little like boho sort of dresses for their American Girl dolls with this sort of gathered section at the top, um, like around here on the doll. Um, and then you can put little ribbon straps on. So I'm going to try and make one of those. I don't have a sewing machine, so I can't create this gathering myself. Um, my mum's got one that I can use whenever I like, but she lives somewhere else. So <laughs> it's a bit hard. Um, so what I'm going to do is hopefully, if I ignore the bit that I've already, um, uh, already used the fabric of and cut that bit off, then this part here, let me fold that behind so you can see what it's going to be like. This would be the dress and I can make it shorter because I think it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be pretty long um, if we put it there like that. So that is hopefully the sort of thing it will look like but I'm going to make it shorter. It's just been sitting in my sewing box waiting for another project and I do really like this flowery fabric. Um, so I think they'll make a lovely dress for either Laylee or my Just Like You number two who is still unnamed. I need names for her um, because I don't really like her outfit very much so I'm going to make it for her probably. So here's the pictures. I've put it on the doll and pinned it down the side where I need it. Cut it off and sewn down one side. Um, I've added an extra row of stitches to just make it a little bit safer and trimmed off the excess, turned it the right way around and here it is. Here we go, I finished the dress and uh, I kept it long in the end because I thought it looked sort of like a um, like a maxi dress. Um, I still haven't decided whether to put straps on. I might see if I can find some purple ribbon or maybe pick out the pink. Um, but pink's not my favourite colour, so um, we'll try with the purple, maybe even white. Um, or I was thinking about putting strips of this fabric that's left over up to be like wide straps to uh, cover more of her soft skin there. Um, but yeah, I thought it looks quite nice with Lady's dress. Um, Looks like they're going to the same event, maybe in the same season. I don't know. Um, at the moment, this AG is wearing the dress with Kaylee's uh, water shoes because uh, her shoes have made her heels. I don't know if I can show you show you up her skirt. Have made her heels all black, which is kind of gross. Um, so I'm not going to put those shoes on her anymore. I think they're a bit past it, unfortunately. Um, even though they are official AG shoes, there probably almost 10 years old now so yeah need new shoes for her um, but here is what we're talking about we're talking about the dress obviously which uh, you saw the skirt before and how I planned to do it um, and then I've put some pictures in of while I was doing it um, of how I sewed it obviously I did it by hand so uh, if you can see the stitches there they're a bit messy um, I did two rows this row is doubled back on myself, so it's um, twice as uh, secure as this row. Um, they're not very straight. And I just added this row of uh, simple running stitch just to keep the inside seam a bit tidier. But yeah, I'm quite pleased with it. If I can stand her up. Um, I mean, I think I definitely will put straps on it because it does slip down because I think I've made it a tiny bit too big. Um, but yeah, I, I quite like it as a long, as a long uh, dress, as a maxi dress. There it is. I don't know if it's a little bit formal, so uh, I could shorten it a little bit. I'll just see how it goes. If I get bored of it this long, I'll make it short. Okay. Bye bye.